Hey everyone, welcome back for the next part of the solar kiln series. This video I'm going to be putting up the framing for the roof. I'm just going to jump right into it, so stick around. Alright, so I just cut these boards to go up on the top part of the where the roof is going to attach on the top part of the back wall. And I cut a 45 degree angle on one side, and then I made sure the face of it was 5 inches, which is what a 3.5 inch wide 2x4 will be when it's cut at a 45 degree angle. So this will be up on the top, so it'll be 45 to the top, and then the two by four roof rafter will be received right here. And the reason for this board is so I have a wide enough face at the top there to receive the top part of the roof rafters. So I'm gonna put these up, then I'm gonna cut the rafters and start putting those on. Oh, and the reason for the bug mask, black fly season. Ooh. Right, Kyle? Yeah. All right, Commando, let's rock. So my next step, I'm going to dimension some of the rough cut pine that I have from my mill for the roof rafters. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip these down on the table saw and they are about one and three quarter inches thick, but for the roof rafters, it's not gonna matter if it's an inch and a half like some of the other two by fours are. I've used store-bought two by fours in this build and probably about half of the material I've used I bought and the other half of the material I used I got from my sawmill. I did have a question whether using green wood is gonna be a problem in this project and if I would be worried about twisting or checking, cracking and that sort of thing and having structural issues. So anywhere where I know I needed a good solid foundation. I used Sorbot structural pine. I did use some of my own rough cut pine and most of that has not been dried for a very long time. This wood was cut probably about three or four months ago and it's been sitting out in the sun for the most part during that time. So it's not 100% seasoned. So I don't, I don't know for a fact that it's not going to split or twist or any of that, but it is white pine which is pretty stable as it dries. It doesn't typically twist or crack or split or have any sort of structural issues as it dries. If anyone else out there has had any other experiences with working with green white pine, uh, I'd be happy to hear it and let me know if maybe I'm doing something wrong. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the these boards down to dimensional two by fours so I can use them to build the rafters. And then we will talk to you in a bit.
uh, get all the rafters cut, uh, dimensioned, and installed. So the next step is going to be to, I'm gonna put in some braces in between each of the rafters all the way across, and then I'm gonna put the roof panels on. And the reason I'm pushing to do that next is I wanna try to prevent any more raining to happen on the plywood floor. The, the dimensional pine I'm not as much worried about, but the, the plywood, when it rains, it's holding puddles of water. It's just soaking in, and there's no way for the water to dry out or escape underneath because it has that rigid foam insulation in there that's sealed up pretty well. So I'd like to start getting that plastic roofing on there so the sun can start hitting it and drying it out really good before I close it all in. So. I appreciate all you guys watching and following along on this project. I'm having a blast with it. Um, I hope you like these videos. I really appreciate a thumbs up. It does help us out a lot, and I really do appreciate that. Um, and if you are new here, definitely consider subscribing if you want to see the rest of this build because I will be putting out several more videos on finishing this project. And then, of course, at the end, I'm going to load it up, and we're going to get to see how well it dries. I think it's going to do really well because we're, we're going to start coming into summer just as I'm finishing this up and starting to come into the hotter months of the year. So I think we're going to get a lot of wood dry this summer. So anyway, I will see you next time. Take care. Have a good one. I appreciate it.